What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Life as a Student Entrepreneur. Uh, this is vlog number four. So, to everyone who's watched all four, um, I really appreciate you for supporting me and you know constantly motivating me. Um, to those of you just joining, um, I hope that you enjoy this and you can reach out to me and let me know what you think and. Also, just let me know kind of what's going on in your life as well. So, I want to start off by saying um, thank you to my friends and family. Um, they've been extremely supportive lately. Um, I've been wrestling with whether or not I was going to talk about this in the vlog, but I feel like it's very real and a part of my journey. and. <clears throat> My goal is to be authentic, so um, I feel like my journey story wouldn't be complete <clears throat> if I didn't talk about what I've been going through. Sorry, but lately I've just been in a really bad mental state. Um, I felt overcommitted. I feel like I'm putting so much effort in uh, all day into the night I'm on my homework you know my classes just everything that I'm involved in and I feel like I'm not living up to my potential in any of the areas um, I know I'm doing too much uh, my family's told me I'm doing too much my friends have told me I'm doing too much but I know that if I meet my potential, I would be able to do everything to the best of my ability. But I'm also trying to balance that with understanding patience and not trying to rush everything and stress myself out. Um, recently, somebody told me that I'm stressed out 95% of the time and that they only see me swallowing and laughing 5%. And I laughed along and, you know, I took it as a joke initially, but deep down that's just really stuck with me for the past week. And I feel like I really am living life as a stress ball, for lack of a better word. Um, my Paul told me I'm too young to be stressed and I agree. Uh, this is supposed to be the best time of my life. Uh, this is supposed to be where I figure out what I want to do. And that's that was my goal for this semester. And it still is my goal. And I'm still enjoying every day. But I feel like part of me is not happy. Um, I feel like I'm chasing after a goal that... I know I won't be happy with once I get it and that I have to find happiness within myself before I start chasing after money or start chasing after success. Um, in my venture analysis class, we've had multiple entrepreneurs who have come in and talked to us about falling into the trap of the rat race and once you start making money, how you just focus on that and your life ends up flying by and you don't, you never take time for yourself to truly do things that you enjoy. You're too busy trying to get success or be successful or do everything. And it's really made me think. Um, I look back on the past couple of months, really the past year, and I've had, you know, good times. I've, I've gone out, I've done things. Um, I've really connected with my family this past year. Uh, I've got really close friends. Um, and then also my girlfriend. But I really haven't been happy. Um, I've just been focused on where I think I should be right now or why am I not there or calling myself lazy and I haven't taken the time to celebrate the small wins. So 
I really, I really need to do some personal development, um, come to an understanding about what is it that I truly want. Uh, I mentioned it at the luncheon that I am now trying to live a life that I truly want. And I meant it then, but I mean it even more now. I... I feel like I've been blinded by my future projections or where I plan to be in the next few years. And I really missed out on some opportunities lately to just be myself and just enjoy the moment and really connect with those around me um, in a way outside of business or outside of class. So that's definitely my goal coming up. Um, I didn't mean to go on about that so long, but it, it truly has taken a toll on me recently. And I'm thankful that I'm starting to notice the effects now because I definitely plan to get a handle on it before it gets out of control. So, um, one thing that I neglected to do uh, that I talked about in the second video was my seven day action plan uh, and writing down my goals and commitments and decommitting from, from a few things. Um, here it goes right here. Uh, don't worry, I won't read it all out to you, but I actually wrote it out and for me that was a big step. Um, what, I've got big goals on there, such as making all A's or uh, getting closer with my uncle, who's also an entrepreneur. And before writing them out, I would say these things, but I never saw it in my own handwriting. And it's so much more powerful when you write things down. It's in the forefront of my mind now, honestly. And even since I've written it down, I've gained clarity and even interviewed him about his experience and gained so much knowledge uh, that will be incredibly beneficial. And honestly, just gotten closer with him just through having conversations. So running down my goals has been tremendous. Um, a seven day action plan. Uh, honestly, I haven't done all seven days, but one thing that I did do with my 60 minute reflection writing down my goals and all of the resources that I have to accomplish them. And I realized that I'm only one or two steps away from accomplishing many of my goals. So that's really helped me get things in perspective. Um, I've also started a gratitude journal. Every day I try to write down uh, for 15 minutes things that I'm thankful for, things I'm excited about, just getting into a positive mindset and thanking God for what he's blessed me with uh, rather than what I see him blessing me with in the future. Um, it's really helped me put things in perspective and I'm really thankful uh, that my friend Christian uh, recommended that I start doing that and that I've finally took the time to actually do that. Um, because it's already started to make a difference. So I plan to keep going with my action plan. Um, I want to make a 30-day action plan and really put my head down and stay focused for 30 days. And I truly believe that I can change so much and get further down the line if I put my head down. But also I want to focus on my personal development and taking time for myself and taking care of myself um, because my health and my mental state come first and everything else second. So uh, it's been a learning experience. Um, I'm learning every single day. Um, I'm scared but excited. Um, every day I'm doing things that make me uncomfortable, but I'm starting to become comfortable being uncomfortable. Um, and I don't know. 
it's interesting. It really is. But I guess we'll see what's in store. Um, and I mean, once again, I'm excited for what's coming up and I'll definitely keep you informed. So reach out to me. Uh, let me know what you're doing. Let me know what you're going through. Um, and I'm excited to grow together. So thank you. And I'll see you soon.